Hi, I'm Dr. David Heber, Professor of Medicine and Director of the UCLA Center for Human Nutrition, and I'm also former Chair of the Medical Nutrition Council at the American Society for Nutrition. It's been my privilege this year to plan and direct a pre-conference symposium on the importance of protein supplementation in the global nutrition transition. This conference was co-sponsored by Soli and the Herbalife Nutrition Institute. During a half day of presentations, we had uh, professors from around the world who were experts in the impact of protein supplementation on two areas, malnutrition and the global obesity epidemic. Uh, Dr. Jimmy Bell from the United Kingdom spoke about the incidence of fatty liver among people in England, the high incidence of obesity among people with normal body weight and waist. He calls them fat on the, outside, fat on the inside, thin on the outside, so not what you usually think of. Also, protein for the elderly. Bill Evans of Duke University talked about how to re-nourish elderly people, frail elderly, and how important it was in protein maintaining muscle mass. And then Dr. Zhao Ping Li of UCLA talked about the epidemic of obesity in Asia. And finally, Dr. Bruce Chassie of the University of Illinois talked about sustainability and proper agricultural practices around the world to create the proper amount of protein that we need around the world today. And he made the point that we've been crossing plants for a long time for various benefits and getting plants that really provide the necessary nutrients that people need around the world is really important and then also increasing the amount of protein in the food supply so that people can fight this global epidemic of obesity. I'm also a member of the Continuing Medical Education Committee of the American Society for Nutrition and looking forward to uh, additional uh, successful conferences targeting physician education around the country and around the world. A uh, very successful conference this last uh, February in San Francisco on advances and controversies in clinical nutrition, and this is an area that American Society of Nutrition is very much dedicated to. So it looks like an exciting year, a year of growth for the American Society for Nutrition, and a leader in global nutrition education. A pleasure to be working with you.